And uh, in this celebration of Asian Heritage Month in May, the York Region District School Board partnered with the Moon Festival Organizing Committee, held a uh, Moon Festival Art Contest in Kokmaka, Fawn, and Richmond Hill. In June, the York Region District School Board trustees and some other judges selected and announced the results already, which you can see over there. They are all primary school students. Not only their art pieces creative and of fine quality, they also show a good understanding of theme of the Moon Festival. When the Moon is full, mankind is one. Yan yu leung tu yu ren yu yang tuan yu. Participants come from not just Chinese, you may see from their last name, they are from different culture backgrounds. And we find it very meaningful as students learn to appreciate the other country's culture. Thank you very much. Allow me to run a few of the pages in here. Did I not press the right button? But well, well, I'm just going to show you a few pictures of the Moon Festival that was held uh, just last year. This is the six years that uh, we have done it six years in Richmond Hill, the second year in Markham and Falls. Okay, these are the uh, 2014, some of the performances in there. And you can see, well, Mayor Scarpetti is having a good time. And same with Mayor, like um, all the mayors will be there for the different <coughs> nights that they're having in, in their own municipalities. And we were so thankful that we have, other than the art contest that we're doing, we're going to invite all the students to draw pictures, anything about uh, moon festival as well as the theme. When the moon is one, when the moon is full, mankind is one. They just bring the pictures over to one of the moon festival. In exchange for a ballot, on the night of the moon festival, we're going to do a lucky draw, and that lucky draw is going to win them a trip to Japan. So we have already sent this out to the school. And these are the winners from last year. This is the, are the winners for this year. And this is for with, uh, for the, the those that has won the uh, Japan Airlines last year, this little girl here. And without further ado, may I invite uh, Derek Cole from Japan Airlines to come and uh, join us here and tell us why are you supporting this event. And we're happy that they are contributing the Japan Airlines tickets, and we basically just contribute it back to the community to the lucky winner. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I'll uh, try to make a shot. I was given four minutes. I wanted to pass on the extra minute to to Wayne. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Daisy. On behalf of Japan Airlines, I'd like to thank you, Daisy, and your committee, your team, for uh, putting this uh, wonderful event um, for us and thank having you. us as a sponsor. Uh, it is truly a, a privilege for Japan Airlines to continue sponsoring this meaningful event, and particularly the value behind it, uh, which is to bring family and bring our community together in celebrations of love and care. Japan Airlines being an airline, an international airline company, has a mission of bringing people um, to places around the world. Many of our customers are flying with us uh, for family reunion, for um, meeting with friends and business counterparts, and also trying to achieve their life goal and dreams. As a member of the One World Airline Alliance, I think uh, it is no uh, coincidence that we share the same value of loving and caring for people. Uh, like Daisy and uh, Mr. Pang mentioned <clears throat> about this Chinese saying, when the moon is full, mankind is, becomes one. Now, this conveys the same vision of Japan Airlines to serve every customer of our one world. The price uh, that we are sponsoring for this event is a round trip economy uh, class ticket to Japan, to Tokyo and Japan. Uh, we have just received uh, an award from an organization called Skytrax, and the award is the best 
economy class seats of all airlines in the world in 2015. So the winner will be taking this seat. We have a name for them. The seat is called the Gel Sky Wider. So I'm not trying to do commercials here. If you're in, interested, <laughs> go to the website. Okay. Uh, how do you come, come to Japan Airlines? You're going to give a special 50% discount. <laughs> how much? Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's offering 85. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll talk about it separately. Yeah, try to keep it on time. So how do you win it? Okay. Uh, I think the students uh, will be required to do a little drawing. Yes. And everyone who's interested to do more drawings, uh, feel free to, to come and bring your drawings to you know one of the three events: Friday, Markham, mm -hmm. uh, Saturday, Vaughan, and Sunday, Richmond Hill. So uh, you can do unlimited uh, drawings, and every drawing will get you a ballot. And we'll find out uh, the coming Sunday who is the winner uh, to take this uh, gel skywriter. So we're very happy again to be a sponsor. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Thank you very much. Have your children drive. And doing that ballot, that is important. And as I just mentioned earlier, that we will not be able to do this without the support from Seneca College, as well as all our sponsors. We have here is two of the, the, uh, the city of Markham, as well as the town of Richmond Hill, and the city of Vaughan is also one of our sponsors in their respective event. Without further ado, I'd like to invite our President Agnew here to let us know how we can work together to make this theme really working for Seneca as well as the community around us. Well, thank you very much, Daisy. I, I notice everyone's right at home there in school. The front rows are virtually empty. Thank you, Billy, uh, for taking that front row. Uh, sorry, everyone can stand back. This is like any class. Um, well. I mean, people say, well, why would you be the title sponsor? And I simply say, have you tried to say no to Daisy? Uh, it's just not possible. Wow. Uh, but, I'm yeah, a big here. In fact, my company is also sponsoring. Yeah, of course. It's, it really is, uh, it really is a, a marvelous festival. For, well, it's actually, let me tell you about my day, because I just came from one of our other campuses uh, over Seneca, New York. And there, um, we had an uh, event to raise money for the refugees from Syria. So when you talk about uh, a, sort of one world uh, under the full moon, and um, all humanity becomes one, it really is an expression of what we've built here in Canada and what we've built here, particularly in York Region, uh, where, where you see whether it's Spawn, whether it's Richmond Hill, whether it's Markham, uh, these are communities that have come from around the world and they've pulled together. So I really congratulate, and this is really why we're so proud to be a sponsor of the Moon Festival, we congratulate uh, this, this organizing committee for thinking out of the box and thinking this is a traditional festival for the Chinese community, but we're going to open it up to the entire community and we're going to be inclusive, we're going to build a community. So when you talk about you know, the connection for an institution like Seneca with our more than 5,000 international students coming from 120 countries, but of course our, our Canadian student body reflecting even more than that in terms of the countries, it's, a, it's, it's actually a natural fit. We're so proud to be uh, with all of you today. So, um, I thank you, Daisy. I thank your team. I thank the other sponsors for their commitment and their uh, support. Uh, this is a, this is truly uh, a community building uh, event, and we're just delighted to be part of it. And thank you for coming and welcome to our campus. And I'm one of those people who, unfortunately, changed all the agenda and have to scoot. Um, but I do want to thank you for being, making me part of it. Thanks so thank much. You so much. And without further ado, I'd like to thank our town and city to, that has been supportive of us. And at this time, I'd like to invite our councillor, Alan Cole, to share a few words with us, please. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, uh, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so honored to be here today to attend this press conference at Daisy Y. She has been working diligently, you know, to promote uh, Chinese culture and to bridge different communities uh, with the mainstream. Thank, thank you, Daisy. And also, you know, I would like to commend Seneca College as well because, you know, in my opinion, I believe that they are the uh, they have the best outreaching program. I think, you know, in Ontario or even in Canada because, you know, I still remember when I was uh, going for you know train mission in 1995, uh, 20 years ago when I was going to uh, Mexico and uh, also Chile, 
I saw that people there every time. So, well, you can see that, you know, they have been uh, working very, uh, very well, very hard, you know, to reach out to the world. That's why they have so many different uh, students from uh, around the world. And, and I don't know uh, whether you know the, the origination of, you know, uh, the, moon's, uh, the Moon Festival. In fact, you know, it, it started, you know, uh, in uh, Ming Dynasty. And I want to challenge you people, uh, if you remember Chinese history well, Ming Dynasty from 1368 to four, uh, six, uh, no, uh, 1368 to 1644. So we're talking about, you know, 400 to 700 years ago. And well, of course, you know, it's about, you know, revolution. <laughs> but after that, we celebrate, you know, moon, you know, on a yearly basis. And now it becomes a uh, part of our culture. And I think, you know, to make uh, the moon festival, uh, well, uh, uh, a complete celebration. I think we need, you know, to have a mayor to sing a song. The moon represents <laughs> my heart, something like that. Yeah. So, okay, I, I, I don't want you know to drag on too much. And once again, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you very much, Councillor Ho. Yes, we is going to be a very exciting evening at uh, the city of Markham because that day we have. <coughs> Actually, we have different... See, you can hear and feel, I hope, that the compassion, passion, as well as her diligence in all these years, six years. Now, before I say anything else, um, let's all truly give a big heartfelt warm of applause to this community building. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I, uh, I appreciate uh, you mentioned about shining lights. My council Neil has to uh, to leave for another location. Unfortunately, I have to leave uh, soon as well. But it's truly an honor for us in the town of Richmond Hill uh, that to be the sponsor, proud sponsor for the last six years. I still remember the modest beginning. We are all crowded in our just open, now six years young theater right on, I like to say, the central location of Greater GTA. No offense, I can't say the whole. Uh, on, right on Yang Street, uh, north of Major Mac, where uh, we're packed with people. And many people actually were coming, not only of Asian or Chinese origin. And that's the idea that both principal uh, Edna was talking about and Daisy talking about, really in Canada, with uh, such a diverse, multicultural society. This festival, which is celebrated all over mainland China, other places where the Chinese uh, families, is actually going to be appreciated, understood by people of other heritage. And um, in fact, now it has been expanding from basically song and dance, giving away mooncake, as you can see, as Trustee Pan just mentioned, uh, and they still have mentioned about all this colorful creation of our young people, not again only from children with the Chinese heritage, but you can see actually from all background. So again, this is a testament to you, uh, they see and all the hardworking people together in your region, and I'm sure Council Ho knows that, uh, we are a character community, and this is true character is all about. Uh, citizenship is not getting about, you know, getting the passport. Citizenship is about building bridges, getting to know each other. And we in Richmond Hill are very proud. In fact, uh, we have uh, a look at our social demographics uh, changes between 2001 to 2011 based on the census figures just yesterday. And it's really, really amazing. And I'm sure Mark and I have their own diversity to, uh, to talk about. But the unique thing I would like to say uh, uh, in us is that Richmond Hill is not particularly focused on one single ethnic group. We are very, very diverse. We are very, very multicultural. And to that, we feel so proud that we are diverse and able to support uh, uh, you, uh, Daisy, and the community events. This is truly a grassroots event. Uh, I encourage our media friends, every one of you, the sponsors, uh, that really help to promote this. 
and uh, this would be for many years to come, I hope. And as uh, uh, Principal Adley was talking about, uh, I was actually in uh, what we call the Federation of Canadian Municipalities National Board meeting last week in Fredericton. And we all as Canadians uh, feel really uh, concerned about the human sufferings now, talking about Syrian refugees. And I can't think of any other festival so close to, uh, to celebrate within the uh, uh, community. This brings us to think about the word has been said many times, when the moon is full and round, all mankind is one, regardless of where the origin is. So this is also a time for us to reflect how fortunate and we are in Canada. And to the extent that this is not commercial, to the extent whether it's through the church group, through the school groups, for any community, if we can all lend a hand to help the, uh, um, the world to uh, try to uh, address this, uh, I would call a human uh, uh, issue that uh, how we can help in Canada. And through this, we are really mankind one. So thank you again for uh, having uh, us, which are here as a sponsor. I'd like to also, uh, um, I would be remiss if I don't relate the uh, particular personal uh, greetings from our Mayor, Mayor Barrow, and Council. Thank you again. Let's keep it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we have to take a very good day. Uh